Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hope you have another great day today. Well, today I'm in my wife's vehicle and I'm gonna take it to the gas station, put some gas in it. Uh, some I haven't done in a while. But uh, and basically what I'm, uh, what I'm trying to do is I'm gonna do a little test. And I wanna see how much time it's gonna take me to get to the gas station, fill this vehicle up and return home. And the reason I'm doing this is that, you know, I've had a lot of commenters in my comment sections on some of the videos I made. And one of the, the drawbacks they say are to electric vehicles, the amount of time you have to spend at the charging station. Well, we're gonna do some calculations and see whether or not that holds true in the real world. And so, you know, obviously this is based on whether you have a home charger or a place to charge at home, which uh, I think 90% of people who do have electric vehicles do charge at home. But yeah, so let's, let's go ahead and get in. I'm ready to time this whole thing. So I'm ready to pull the timer out on my phone to get it, it timed up. But first I gotta start this car up. And I got to let it warm up because it's cold outside. That's one thing on, I never have to do with my electric vehicle. Is I can do that in the comfort of my home with the garage door closed. But let's go ahead and do this. So I got that, uh, got this thing uh, warming up. And it's on E. Well, not close to E. It has about 52 miles of uh, a range. just less than a quarter of a tank. And uh, ready to head to the gas station. So I'm ready to start my timer. And you can see where I am now. I'm just letting this keep running until I get back home. And we're going to go ahead and pull off. All right, head to, to the, oh, wrong thing. Oh, used to my Rivian. Okay. I forgot there's a shifter down here. Yeah, uh, driving this is uh, not the greatest at all, especially after driving an electric vehicle uh, for so long. It's just, uh, I don't know, it's rough. I mean, the, the sound of the engine, uh, the vibrations. Yeah, a little different from what I used to. And, my, and then the brakes, I have to actually use the brakes. And something I don't have to do on my Rivian or in my Chevy Volt, I, I didn't really, you know, I, because the Regen was pretty good in the, the uh, Chevy Volt, but really good in the uh, the Rivian. Almost, it's rare that I even have to use the brakes in the Rivian. So having to stop or take my foot off the accelerator in the vehicle, not slow down, is, is uh, that that's why I don't like driving this vehicle. I have my foot off the accelerator, I'm still going. And in my Rivian, I probably would have been stopped at a full stop by now. Okay. All right, I'm just going to go ahead and go. Come on. Oh boy, that's pretty slow on top of that. So uh, yeah, not a lot of acceleration here. And this, this vehicle does have a good acceleration for uh, what it is. It does have a lot of torque, I, I believe, well, for a gas car. But I'm going to the closest gas station and you know try to make this as realistic as possible so I'm not going to a far off gas station that's a long way away to kind of skew the results. Uh, no, I'm going to the closest one to my house, which is, this is realistic, this is real life. And this is the gas station that my wife would go to if she was trying to put gas in her vehicle. Okay, I got my foot off the accelerator. I'm still going full speed. Okay, let me apply some brakes. There we go, there we go. I guess it's something to get used to again. All right, all right. And see, I'm gonna try to record this thing all live so you can see that there's no skewing of the results. I'm not gonna be driving slow, I'm going to speed limit, whatever that may be. Right now I'm going about 45 miles an hour and that's the speed limit on the street, I believe. Yeah, 45. And this is a Mazda CX-9. This is a 2016. Yeah, they got all green lights so far, so that's pretty good for the, the test results. No, no red lights. Yeah, 
And we're coming up on the gas station here. Yeah, this brake thing is something to get used to again. Well, no, I don't have to get used to it because I'm replacing this. Well, we're, not, we're, gonna, we're actually still gonna keep this vehicle. Uh, you know, it's been paid for a long time ago. And Oh, this is just so funny driving this. What size of gas tank on? Oh, it's on that side. And so here we come to a gas station and, uh, oh, it's on this side. And most of the, uh, the pumps are full. Let's see if I can come around here. And obviously one of the advantages of having the gas car is that it doesn't take long to refuel when you have to refuel. But one thing that people are not taking into account like some of the uh, detractors of electric vehicles, they're not taking into account how often you have to refuel your vehicle. Oh, out of service. Oh, and anyone has anything bad about to say about uh, about electric? Uh, right here, nowhere to nowhere to pump. <laughs> All the pumps are taken because that one is out of order. So maybe uh, I can come around this other one. Oh, I can't do that. that not that way. I'm going to turn around. So I may have to wait for a, uh, a pump to open up. Oh, man, I hit the wrong thing again. They're so used to driving my vehicle. And Nowhere to pump. This is interesting. And I'm just going to see if I can pan this camera around and there's nowhere to pump. Every pump is taken and there's a, a pump that's out of order. So maybe, no, I can't use this one because the gas, where the, the gas tank is located. And it looks like a lot of these people are pumping gas and went inside, you know, maybe to shop or do whatever else. Okay, it looks like a car is pulling off. Maybe he tried to jump in front of this vehicle right here. All right. Oh, pump's on the wrong side. I can't come here. Dang it. This is horrible. Man. Ah. <laughs> okay. Interesting. Very interesting. Oh man, this person ready to run into me. Oh, he's pulling off. Let me check the time. It's been eight minutes and 23 seconds. All right, let me uh, just take this camera down here. I gotta turn this vehicle off. Forgot about that, then I gotta open the gas pump up and I'm just take this whole thing down with me okay all right now at the pump and go ahead and so I'm at the gas pump right here let me just so go ahead and open this up and enter mobile let me see 
put my credit card in here. And you tap and pay. Hmm. Then remove knives on some that gray. All right, put this up in here. Got that stinking gas all over the place. And we're gonna put 87 octane in here and begin fueling. And just fueling up. All right, just do a time check again. And right now, you have 10 minutes and 50 seconds. Oh, this stuff is expensive. Goodness gracious. All righty. So we stopped at uh, 59. Let me go ahead and unhook this. Go ahead and put this back on. Close my fuel door. Receipt. All right, now we can head back to the house. Let's start it back up. The seat belt. And all right. The gas mail on my hands. Okay. I'm at 13 minutes and 20 seconds. And so basically what I'm gonna do is calculate how often um, this will have to happen, which is about once a week, you know, for most people, at least uh, that's what my wife is about once a week. And when I had a gas car, I was there once a week. Uh, to, to, to fuel up there about and there's 52 weeks in a month and so we're going to just uh, look at the time and we're going to calculate how much time do we actually spend at gas stations versus and that's not counting bathroom breaks or any of that stuff we just on a day-to-day -day normal routine not going on a road trip how, off, how much time does it take and then we're going to compare that to how much time it takes to charge your electric vehicle up at, at home all righty. And again, this is the closest gas station to the house. You know, so, uh, you know, these results, you know, someone may live closer or farther away. Most people probably live farther away from gas stations. You know, this is only within maybe two and a half miles, or I believe. And not only as far as the miles, as far as the, the, there's not a lot of traffic, but you did see the gas station was pretty full, but that's kind of common. You know, that is not an unusual circumstance, uh, especially depending on which side your gas tank is on, because, you know, so if that gas station has eight pumps, you know, you may be able to use four of them. You know, that's kind of the same situation you run, run into with charging stations. So, uh, yeah. So getting closer to home, and I, I am going to stop the timer uh, when I get into the garage and, uh, you know, put the car in park, and then the mission will be complete. And then I'll show you how long it takes to plug your car in. I probably don't need to show that. It's only a few seconds. So um, probably not really necessary. But maybe I'll show it anyway, just for those who are not familiar with the electric vehicles. All righty. But we'll be keeping this vehicle as a backup and we're going to be picking up the Rivian R1S in about four days, hopefully, if everything goes well. Getting close to home and then we'll have the final results. Okay, so I am, I'm ready to put the vehicle in, in, in park and stop and I just stopped the stopwatch. So, and I am at 17 minutes and 46 seconds. Yeah, that's more, that's longer than I thought it would be.
But, uh, and that's another thing, like, as far as time, you know, people don't consider this, how much time it takes. It's usually based on how, you know, feelings, you know, you, 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 you do it so often, you never really consider the amount of time that it really, it really costs you throughout the day or throughout the year if you add all this time up. Let me go ahead and wrap this piece up, but let me go ahead and do some math here real quick. And uh, I'm gonna let you know how much time this actually takes and I'll be right back. And so I'm back just to wrap things up. And so we're gonna look at some math and see whether or not anyone going to the gas station, whether you're saving time with a person with an electric vehicle that's charging at home. And so we know that our trip took about 18 minutes to complete and that's leaving right from home or right to the gas station, pumping gas, and then going back home. Uh, and everyone knows that you can fill your gas tank up a lot faster than you can charge your electric vehicle. However, the amount of time that you take doing it adds up over time. So we're going to look at that. And so the average person goes to fill their gas tank up about once a week, and they're 52 weeks in a year. However, I'm going to subtract two weeks from that, you know, for possible vacations or something like that, uh, or just for whatever reason, I'm just going to take two weeks out just for the benefit of the doubt and, you know, to make the results probably a little more accurate. <laughs> to make the results actually skew more in favor of the gas vehicle. And so let's see, we've got 18 minutes uh, times 50 and that equals 900 minutes. That's 900 minutes. And so we're going to divide that by 60 to see how many hours you're spending at just going back and forth to the gas station. And that is 15 hours, 15 hours out of the year. And that is on the good side. That is a conservative estimate. So I have another study here was done by Payless Power and they found that customers spend on average 20 minutes at their favorite gas station. And they spend on average of $70 per stop. And so I'm not even factoring that into the equation. So I'm just, I just went, you saw directly from home, directly to the gas station. And so people go inside. I know I go inside sometimes, you use the bathroom. And so I say all of this to say this, like when I'm, when I'm charging at home, it takes me seconds to plug my vehicle in, seconds. And I, I mean, it's not even worth calculating because I'm walking in that direction anyway. So, um, however, I do take road trips. But even still, me taking a road trip, I mean, my last road trip I took, I spent, let's say, 40 minutes to charge at each uh, stop, and I stopped 10 times, and that is 400 minutes, and that is six and a half hours, thereabout, or 6.6. .6. So um, that's still half the time that a person was spend going back and forth to the gas station. And that's if I take a road trip, the average American takes a road trip once a year. So that th this these are pretty good estimates. So that I'm going to spend an additional six hours, six to seven hours charging my vehicle up on a nice long road trip. And also considering that study that was done by Payless Power, you know, people are spending 20 minutes at the gas station anyway. And that is enough to get a pretty decent charge in your vehicle. And plus, you, you're, you're doing other things. You know, people are shopping. They're using a bathroom. And that's what happens in a lot of these charging stops. You're not just charging up. You're going to get something to eat. You're using the bathroom. You're going shopping. Like every stop that we had at our charging stops, we were doing something that was productive. It went, we weren't just sitting in the car waiting for it to charge. So, uh, but yeah, that's, I want to break the numbers out. And these are the facts. You don't have to agree with the facts, but it's not going to change the fact that these are the facts. And if you like this content, please hit that like and subscribe button. But that's all I have for today. I'd like to thank you for joining me once again. And I can't wait to see you on the next video.